Nick and Lex here. Hey everyone! How's it going guys? So tonight we're gonna do our second track from the album Deadwing by yes. Porcupine Tree. Finally the long awaited arriving been... somewhere but not here. Oh my gosh, so many people have requested really? this. So oh, many people. Like this is I'm wow. My hair I... Like, ah! <laughs> I know a lot of you are gonna be excited. So thank you so much. Um the last song that we did by in from this album was Glass Arm Shattering. Oh yeah. So check yeah, that yeah. out. We did like the last track of this album and of course and this still, is a request from, from Eric. Eric. <laughs> and we're still going to do a full album for Eric, but we still need some more time to yes, do that. Yes, yes. And we will. have still another full album that's coming up, by the way, uh, spoiler alert, by The Who. We won't say which one, uh, but we've never heard The Who except for... I know, and we even, we, even, we even bought the movie. I know we were going to buy the movie. No, we bought it. We bought it? I think we did. We haven't seen it, yeah. but yeah, we will watch the movie. Yeah, and, and we, we will are listen gonna get to into the them. entire record they will, with you guys. Yeah, yeah. our friend um, Arnie requested a full album of theirs, and I'll just leave it up to uh, like your imagination which one it's going to be, but uh, mm -hmm. we're going to be working on those for sure. Um, we have a little bit more time now, so... Yeah. Um, all right, so I'm super excited about this because Me too. Oh, oh, my porcupine word. tree is always a treat. I mean, come of on. course, always. And just the amount of people that have told us about this was like, I've been anticipating Salud. this. <laughs> I want a limon, lemon water. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Stop the car on a drive in the dark Never look for the truth in your mother's eyes Never trust the sound of rain upon a river Rushing through your ears Arriving somewhere, but not here. Did you imagine the final sound as a gun? All the smashing windscreen. Of a car Did you ever imagine the last 
to have paused like so many times or at least like say what I wanted to say because okay so the very very beginning was amazing like it reminded me like like yeah like I was like in a submarine or something or like Bioshock I was thinking of Bioshock for some reason <laughs> like because I think this Bioshock. Bioshock like the video game it's like totally dystopian and you're like in this weird like world so it reminded me of that but it also like the sounds of like the dee 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 like reminded me of like Chernobyl like radioactivity so I was like <laughs> I don't know that like really got me at the beginning and, I, and then at some point like I got like started like tearing up because uh it reminded me that moment when we like first heard La Villa Strangiato by Rush where I said like I feel like I'm listening to something epic I had that same feeling like with this you know like yeah the I first time the... you hear like I could hear like a clock of course and then yeah. I love the whole intro the whole start mm -hmm. I didn't feel like I was in a submarine but I don't I know why I felt the, that. I like, I, I like that because it felt very like dark and shot. very grim and very like. I love how it went like echoing. super dark there for a second when I said like wow and when yes. really the chords there yes. were very like, um, how should I say? It sounded just like. 
dark. You know, okay. dark. Yeah, dark. I think that's why I was thinking Bioshock yeah. and Chernobyl. And then, because... But I loved how then, oh my God, they got into the song. And of course, when he started to sing, he's oh such a master, man. Uh, it really reminds me of Pink Floyd. I was like, wow. I was thinking... Like, wow, I wish, like, David Gilmore and Roger Water could hear this. But, you know, you yeah, know? because it's it's kind of like, it's it reminds me of Floyd in a sense that they're so original and uh -huh. so, but not that they're, like, no, similar. It's not a copy. But it's just, like, yeah, it's like its about, own thing. It's, what like, I like, it's about, 90s, What I like about Porcupine version. Tree is it's not a carbon copy of no, Pink Floyd. No, no. It's not like, oh, Greta Van Fleet reminds me of Zeppelin. No. Because no. that's a carbon copy, you know? That's yeah, like, yeah, it's, it's, we love yeah. them. We love Greta. We love them. They're we love them, but they're literally talented. too much. And what I don't like is that they say, oh, no, we try to... We, they try to say they're not influenced No, they said they, they, they listen too much to, like, <laughs> to um, the Rolling Stones. Oh. And that's why they sound like... Yeah. Right. I don't know. No, but <laughs> man, this is so good. Like I'm it's just it's a shame to not pause because yeah. I had so many thoughts of, of some of stuff that I wanted to say. Me too. But I already forgotten them. I know, but we just you know That's why we we used to pause more. We used to pause more because but people the, were like, Don't pause but, man, you're killing the vibe. Yeah, but I also sometimes enjoy not pausing yeah. because yeah, yeah, sure. what I, I would think like, you have less to talk about. I have, what I would like is like if my voice could be heard like just for a second on top just but then talk. we're ruining the music and then I can't hear you either. Yeah. Because yeah. sometimes, you know, I don't want to talk because it's like, uh, you know, I don't want to talk over a piece yeah, of You music. know that you're ruining the, the cable? You <gasps> oh, always nice. do that. She, <laughs> I see you every day like when we're recording, she's like, like this. <laughs> Like every time, and I'm like, Ooh, I, I just like to have it nice and like tied up here. They're gonna stop working. Okay, okay. let's continue. With All right, I'm gonna rewind it just like a couple seconds. Yeah, we have to another get six minutes of epicness. Okay, here we go.
much. This reminded me literally like of Megadeth <laughs> there. Yeah. That, that section. Yeah. And I love the bam, 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 bam. Yeah. That was basically what I wanted to talk about in the beginning. I love that theme. And he was playing these chords as... Dun, 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 oh, and then dun, they came dun, back, dun, but dun. heavier. Yeah, right now. That's so true. But this right now, this... I don't know how it goes, but <laughs> it really reminded me of Metallica. More of Megadeth. Yeah. It sounded like thrash. I love that. Very thrashy. This is what I love then, because boom, 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 boom. I can't believe that I would ever compare this to Floyd, but it's just so much more progressive. Like, they totally took it another level. They're heavier. They're more progressive. I'm going to send this song to Tobias. He's going to, like, freak yeah, out. Yeah, anybody who enjoys music. <laughs> my mom would love this. Song, this. My I mom think. would be it's like, "Yes, so... send me more." Yeah, I'm gonna send this to my mom as well. Now, like into Metallica. Like, yeah, and, she sends me like videos, like, like, "Watch this live, man, Metallica." <laughs> and I, I, I remember when she's I was like, like 14 or 15, I was listening to Metallica, and she's like looking into my room, like, "What are you doing? <laughs> What's this?" And then and she kind of like, like, but she loved it because yeah. she's like, "Well, I, I feel it's like classical music, but with distortion." <laughs> That's what that's she would say. True. So yeah, she was like, okay. actually, right. So, but yeah, let's okay, continue. You I don't want it. Okay, let's. Oh, 
Yeah, um, yeah. that was. This was amazing. Wow. I just want to say. I like want to send this song to everyone that I like that I likes know. music. Like, Me listen too. To That's this. what I said. <laughs> everyone that likes music should hear this because yeah. it's so sad. If this would have been my first Porcupine Tree song that I ever heard. It would be like a super fan. Yes. Because I remember I was just thinking the first person that ever told me about Porcupine Tree you were the second mm -hmm. who like actually got me like more into them. But there was this one like guy that I met through some friends and he recommended, we were talking about uh, Radiohead in Rainbows. And he's like, oh, I was obsessed with that album at that time. And he's like, if you like that, listen to Porcupine Tree Blackest Eyes. And he like sent me the MP3 file or something. And I heard it and it really wasn't my thing. But if I would have heard this, but I don't even know if this was out yet. I think it was right around that time yeah. because I'm trying to think exactly when this was, but this was just amazing. When I started listening to Porcupine Tree, I think it was around this time, but I, I just didn't have this record and I don't know. I was just into other stuff, but it's so good. It's so amazing. And this today we were like, today we were driving, we went to Best Buy, we got her a watch and stuff, <laughs> but we were like listening to tracks that we already covered on the channel. Yeah. But now we have more stuff, oh you know. I, I think we should just now listen to the entire album. I know, and we always say, like, when do we draw the line of, like, when we can listen yeah. to stuff? We, had we even, can't react even to a everything. Even a friend of ours, like, to. from Germany wrote us, like, hey, you know, you can't just listen to everything like react. for a reaction video. Just take two tracks finished. of an album and then call it a day, just like listen to the record. For yourself. And I think that would... We should I think do we that. should do that too. Because then we're just depriving ourselves yeah. of music yes. because we have to react to Exactly, reactive. yeah. That's I think that's good. a good rule. But this was, oh my gosh, something so great. special. Yeah. Um, thank you. Thank you, Eric. Literally, you I'm never so grateful <laughs> because this, yeah, this is really, a great track. yeah, this was yeah. really something. So thank you so much. Thank you for everyone that's watching. And thank you for listening. It was a yes. little babble. Oh my uh, word. I like know. And we've done about. other like Porcupine Tree songs. So check them out if you'd like to. Um, we will be doing more Porcupine Tree. Of and uh, we just love having everyone who's listening and all of your positive vibes and everything. We just love you guys. And yeah. we hope to see you in the next video. Thank you thank guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye.